welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video we are going to learn about all pair shortest path problem using the concept of dynamic programming in the subject of design and analysis of algorithm so uh, till now uh, we have seen like different algorithms in uh, binary sorry in dynamic uh, programming right like optimal binary search tree zero by one knapsack problem so in the same way all pair shortest path is also one of the algorithm and let's see how do we solve this algorithm mostly i'll try to finish it off in one video but um if it is going too long then i will go for um part two of the video okay so without any further delay let's get started quickly first we are what we are doing is we are finding the shortest path between every pair of vertices okay as the name of the algorithm says all pairs shortest path that means between every pair of vertices we are finding the shortest path okay for example we have three vertices one two three so between for from one to two and three whichever is the shortest path from two from two one three which is shortest path like that between every pair of vertices we are finding out the path okay and whichever is taking minimum cost we will come up with that path okay and we are using matrices to solve these problems and this is our example problem okay and again we are using the concept of dynamic programming here okay dynamic programming means what we break it into small small parts and we solve the problem okay and we remember each and every solution we solve so that we can use that solution in the later use okay so this is our graph so we have three uh, vertices over here and there are edges and on top of this edges these small numbers are nothing but the weights associated to those edges okay as i told we will be using matrices so we will be constructing matrix at every iteration at every step we will be constructing a matrix so in that matrix whenever there is no path okay that should be given as infinity for example from 3 to uh, 2 there is no path from 2 to 3 we have a path but from 3 to 2 we don't have any path right so that will be taken as infinity and all the diagonal elements will be taken as 0 diagonal elements means what 1 to 1 see there is no path from 1 to 1 there is no path from 2 to 2 there is no path from 3 to 3 because there are no edges at all when there are no edges there is no point of path also so all the diagonal elements will be taken as 0 okay so let us fill our matrix according to this rules according to this um, graph and according to these rules let us first fill our original matrix m0 okay so as usual we are taking all the diagonal elements as 0 1 1 is 0 2 2 is 0 3 3 is 0 and 4 2 4 is also 0 okay now from 1 to 2 what is the weight 3 so 1 2 2 3 from 1 to 3 there is no path so you will take it as infinity and from 1 to 4 what is the weight 7 and from 2 to 1 from 2 to 1 what is the weight 8 from 2 to 3 2 to 3 how much 2 2 to 4 there is no path so you take it as infinity and from 3 to 1 the weight is 5 from 3 to 2 you don't have any path so you take it as infinity and from 3 to 4 the weight is 1 from 4 to 1 the weight is and from 4 to 2 there is no path you take it as infinity and from 4 to 3 also no path so you take it as infinity this is your original matrix okay you got it now let us start going ahead let us start building further matrices using this initial matrix now we are doing m1 m1 is for vertex 1 that means we are finding if there is any better path to vertex 1 from vertex 1 to all the other nodes rather than this this is our original right so let us try to minimize this matrix now okay so here what you have to do is since you are doing for vertex 1 you have to take first row and first column as it is from the first first row and first column you have to copy same from the previous matrix and all the diagonal elements also will be zero okay um, so let's do that so this is our let me yeah so this is our original matrix right so this is our original matrix and in the original matrix what did it say first row first column same 
so let me copy I that i copied all the values from here first row first column is same and all the diagonal elements are zeros done now what we have to do is calculate remaining things remaining things means what from 2 to 3 from 2 to 4 from 3 to 2 all these remaining things you have to calculate let's see how to calculate these remaining things first here for calculating those remaining things you still need this previous matrix okay so see m naught of m naught means this one m naught of 2 comma 3 so m naught of 2 comma 3 how can you express this as now using vertex 1 you have to touch vertex 1 okay you have to pass through the vertex 1 that means you can write it as m naught of 2 comma 1 plus m naught of uh, 1 comma 3 right so you go from you go from 2 to 1 instead of directly coming from 2 to 3 what you are doing you are going from 2 to 1 and then 1 to 3 you are coming okay so let us see among these two whichever you get minimum so among these two whichever you get minimum that you will take into this matrix okay so m naught of 2 comma 3 in m naught of 2 3 what do you have you have 2 and in m naught of 2 1 what do you have 2 1 8 plus m naught of 1 3 1 3 infinity so obviously this is only lesser value right so you will take this value only here okay next in the same way for calculate see m naught of 2 4 and how do you how can you write m naught of 2 4 as m naught of 2 comma 1 plus not of 1 comma 4 okay instead of directly going from 2 to 4 first you are going from 2 to 1 and then from 1 to 4 and m naught of 2 4 is how much infinity and m naught of 2 1 is 8 plus m naught of 1 4 is how much 7 so how much is this 15 infinity is greater or 15 is greater infinity is i mean 15 is a minimum value right so you will be taking 15 here okay like that you have to calculate this also so how do you calculate that m naught of 3 2 and that can be written as m naught of 3 1 plus m naught of 1 2 right 3 1 1 2 yes how much is m naught of 3 2 it's infinity how much is m naught of 3 1 5 how much is m naught of 1 2 it's 3 8 okay so which is minimum 8 is only minimum so you take 8 here okay next um m naught of 3 4 how can you write m naught of 3 4 as m naught of 3 1 plus m naught of 1 4 how much is m naught of 3 4 3 4 1 okay yeah 1 and m naught of 3 1 is 5 m naught of 1 4 is 7 so this is 12 which is minimum this is only minimum so you will take 1 okay in the same way let's calculate these two things also yeah. okay let's try to adjust somehow so m naught of 4 2 that can be written as m naught of 4 1 plus m naught of 1 2 how much is m naught of 4 2 4 2 infinity and m naught of 4 1 is how much m naught of 4 1 is uh, wait 4 1 is 0 right plus m naught of 1 3 infinity so both are infinity only so you can take 4 2 as wait we did some some yeah so this is infinity but this is 2 right 4 1 is 2 and 1 2 is 3 so 2 plus 3 is how much 5 so 5 is less so you write 5 over here okay next um, m naught of 4 3 how can you write this one as m naught of 4 comma 1 plus m naught of 1 comma 3 4 comma 3 is how much infinity and 4 comma 1 is how much from here 4 comma 1 is 0 but 1 comma 3 is again infinity so both are infinity so you can write this one also as infinity okay like that you got the matrix m1 in the same way you have to do matrix m2 m3 and m4 will be your final matrix final matrix i mean final answer okay 
so let's do m2 right m2 now okay so moving to m2 m2 is for what it's for vertex 2 right so vertex 2 means what second row second column and diagonal elements all you should copy from the previous matrix okay so let's copy all the all these values from the previous matrix okay we are done copying the values from previous matrix now what you have to do now you have to find out the missing values how do you find out the missing values same using this process only okay first what you have to do one comma three but through vertex 2 okay that means you should go from vertex 1 to 2 and then from 2 to 3 you have to go okay so directly from vertex 1 to 2 in this matrix so in this matrix if you go from directly from 1 to 2 how much it is 3 okay sorry from 1 to 3 right if you go directly from 1 to 3 how much it is infinity so try to so try to do all these steps in the exam uh, here since the space is not permitting for me I'm not doing that actually let me try let me try over here only so 1 comma 3 is infinity 1 to 2 how much 3 and uh, 2 to 3 is 2 right so again here infinity here 2 which is here 5 which is less 5 so you will take 5 and from 1 to 4 how can you write it as 1 to 2 plus 2 to 4 right so 1 to 4 is how much 7 and 1 to 2 is how much 3 and 2 to 4 is how much 15 you have to see from the previous matrix not from the original matrix m0 for m1 m0 is the previous matrix but for m2 m1 is the previous matrix right so you have to check from this previous matrix got it so how much you will get 7 only is less whatever it is 18 here right so 7 you will get next 3 1 so 3 1 how can you write it as uh, 3 2 2 plus 2 2 1 right so 3 2 1 how much it's 5 and uh, 3 2 2 is how much 8 plus 2 2 1 is again 8 so you will get 16 here so again 5 only is lesser value so you write 5 over here okay okay guys I think now it's visible to you right both the matrices yes let's go so now uh, 3 comma 4 how can you write 3 comma 4 as 3 comma 2 plus 2 comma 4 3 4 how much from the previous matrix 3 2 4 is 1 and 3 2 2 is 8 and 2 2 4 is 15 so here you will get 23 obviously 1 is only less so 1 yeah next um 4 1 right so 4 1 how can you write it as 4 2 2 plus 2 2 1 4 2 1 how much uh 2 and uh, 4 2 2 is how much 5 and 2 2 1 is 8 so here you will get 13 again 2 is only less so here the last one 4 comma 3 how can you write it as 4 comma 2 plus 2 comma 3 right so 4 comma 3 how much infinity and infinity and 4 comma 2 is how much 5 plus 2 7 is only minimum value so you will write this so this is m2 that is if you are going through vertex 2 this much you will get okay so as i told if the video is taking longer i'll break it into two parts as expected it is taking longer so let's stop the video here and let's do m3 m4 in the next video and the final answer also how do you come up to the final answer and what is the general formula also i'll tell you in the next video guys okay so let's meet up soon in the part